Hi everyone. Uh, you can see that on purpose, I of course on purpose, I put my rating down just just below 2600, so I can hopefully get the enjoyment of getting over 2600 again. Of course, all intentional. Um, so I'm actually playing here against uh, Johan Solomon, who is a very talented young Norwegian. So I've already just weed myself a little bit saying that. Um, we all know how bloody good the Norwegians are. Um, and I'm forgetting my theory here. All that I know you're supposed to do in this kind of position is go D5 and E5, I think. I could even be wrong there. Is that right? I don't know. Someone tell me. I don't know. Is that right? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> so let's see. So, um, focus. Use the force, Simon. I don't want to lose the first game. Put my rooks in the centre of the board. Very sensible. Okay, so I'm going to... Well, I'm going to try to ram one of these pawns through at some stage, but this is quite a rare opening that my opponent's used. And, of course, Johan, I have to say you should follow him on Twitter. He's got some really cool stuff. I don't know his Twitter handle, but it's probably like... Um, whatever it says up there, Johan Solomon, and he's got some really cool puzzles, Johan. So de definitely, definitely worth following. Um, and okay, well, I'm I think I'm going to try to get this plan to work soon, of going d5 and e5. I might have to get Harry in the game. Hello, how are you doing? You coming to help? I can't see the board. <laughs> Pepe, no. No, I can't see anything, Pepe. I can't see anything. Right, okay, well, uh, cat's bum attack. This is the cat's bum attack. And hello, how are you doing? Are you doing well? Are you happy? Are you happy today, Pepe? Are you going to come and sit on the mouse? You're not going to sit on the mouse, are you? Oh, no, he's going to sit on the mouse. He's going to sit on the mouse. Oh, yes, I miss you as well. Okay, so, oh, got a bit of added drama here. Um, <laughs> going on and um, I can see the the screen at half the time which is great and um, come here come here come here okay my opponent now trying to swap queens off oh Beppe come on do I okay, <laughs> okay I could swap queens off because then it weakens his pawns but I don't really want to do that I've got another interesting possibility of putting my knight here um, which I didn't see he could take that this is just falling apart today. Okay, right, now, good. Cat's chilled out a little bit, so hopefully I can recover now. Um, right, now, is there something big going on in one of these squares? I really hope so, because his queen is sneaking its way into my position. Um, and I really want to take something, as usual. I want to take something. I want to take you, who, who can't see it happening here i can't i can't see what i'm doing here which is which is never never a nice situation to be in i mean i could move my might have to move my knight back here and play like this which is not what i had in mind okay i'm going to have to i'm going to have to obviously play quicker here i had a bit of a distraction i don't want to lose the first game my rating could indeed plummet there i don't like my position so much now clearly as I've lost this lost this important pawn. I wasn't really paying attention now. I blame it on you, Beffe. I still love you. So it's okay. It's okay. You're let off. You're let off this time. This time. Okay, right. So um uh the thing is knight knight g4 is an annoying move to deal with because I want to go knight there. Okay, he's gone this way and he wants to come into this square, which which is is another uh, annoyance shall we say and my time is ticking away so what am i doing here i don't like the c3 move coming in okay i have to move my queen out of the way try to get my knight to d4 and go f3 this is the only kind of plan i can see for me at the moment um he has to i mean there's still some tricks here but i mean time time is maybe of the essence here uh, if he moves his, yeah that's the move i was worried about there something like that to stop my knight coming in here so quick movement now needed and i'm really just going to try to move as quickly as i can i want to get my queen back to e3 now my queen i, I didn't like my queen over there i don't want to allow him to swap that bishop off because i'm hoping that bishop is going to be landing some punches later on okay in we go in we go in like our good friend mr flynn now e6 is certainly a move 
I'm going to play. I don't know if it's good or bad, but it's got to be played. And the problem is queen takes is a real annoying move here. Um, fuck it. First time I swarm for a while. Um, uh, okay, it's the first... Oh, no, my mouse. The cat's sitting on the mouse stick as well. <laughs> okay, right. Well, clearly, clearly not going uh, the way I want this to. And, okay, don't worry. It's only a mouse. It's only a mouse. It's, you, you don't mind mouse, did you? Okay, right, quick. And um, my only chance here is, of course, to try and hustle on the clock here, um, which is not looking very likely at all because I am down on the clock as well as being... Okay, I'm going to resign this one. We'll try another one. May have to even move the cat. Um, I think he's settled down now, so we should be happy. Right. Um, is it not rated? Did I say not rated? Um, oh, my God, I didn't, I didn't say rated. Uh, just realised, just realised, not rated. Sorry. Okay, well, we'll, we'll play, we'll play a rated game after this, um, if you want. Uh, okay, and let's see, let's see if we can play rated. Um, just, I'm going to try to play rated against him. Cause of course, it's no fun. That's actually a good thing that it wasn't rated for that first game. So I can't really blame anything, but. We're trying to get a we're trying to get a rated game now because a bit unfair on my opponent if he beats me, and it's not rated. So we'll try we'll try again now. Um, okay and um, okay have offered again, offer offered again. Okay, let me see if I do it again. We'll try again again, and we'll play again. Rated. Okay, here we go. White again. <laughs> my crafty plan. My crafty plan to get white. Okay, right. So we're going to try E4 this time. And I'm going to go for my little wing gambit idea. Uh, wing gambit idea. And at least this one's rated. Now, G6 is certainly the best move. But you know my principle. Whenever my opponent plays G6, I always go for H4, H5. Whether it's good or bad, this is just my sort of personal personal way of playing. Now against h6, I often go for this crazy f4 move, which can often backfire horribly. And this is going to get crazy very quickly. This is the point of my move. I want to take here, and I don't want my opponent playing g5 easily. At least if he plays g5 now, I can take on g5. But of course, I'm sacrificing a pawn on e4 here. So he's gone g5 anyway. Um, but this at least now makes things quite murky because Harry has got a free run now. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. But let's let's see. So I'm gonna just I need I need to develop my pieces here clearly. And if Knight takes d5, I'm gonna get my bishop to c4. So okay, so my opponent not going in for that. Now I think I'm just gonna go bishop c4. I was, he wants to take Harry. No, don't do that to me. Don't do... Harry needs help. <laughs> he does indeed. My opponent actually said Harry needs help. And I should have just take... I should have checked there. That was silly. But I can still check there. And then... And then take take this one. <laughs> so, okay. So, that's the idea. Um, of course, I saw that in advance as we all saw things. Okay. And Beppe the cat has now decided to sit on the floor because... He, he didn't like the mouse interaction that was going on there. Um, so I'm pawn up here for a change. And I don't know how long this pawn's going to last because his knight will come round to b6 and potentially take this pawn. Um, so I might as well try to use use my a3 move that I played earlier on. And I guess I should be quite happy with this position. I guess it should be re reasonably happy here. Um Okay, so I will just develop quickly. And now let's put the rook here so I can maybe try to pressurize b7. And my opponent craftily gone there to stop me or try to make it harder for me to play this move. Now, I was hoping I had some annoying attack with this knight, but I can't really see it happening. Um, now I have d4 here, takes, takes here. He's gonna take all of these, 
don't actually like that as well. That's that's not what I wanted. So maybe I can get this little tactical idea going rook here with I oh know if it, you can still go knight takes here, but I'm I'm hoping I'm going to have d4 at the right time. But instead, I'm just dropping all my pawns and playing like a plonker today. Right, I need to get my focus back again. Um, clearly, not focusing brilliantly. Oh my words! I say that, and that happens. That was bloody awful. Right, this game we're going to focus. Whew, it's not going well at the moment. See it right too. Okay, we'll get a French in, and I'm going to play quick and concise. So Tarish French. A lot of points now. 17 to get back, and this is clearly what I'm going to try to do. I want to get over 2600. I think if I lose another game, I might call it a day. So put some extra pressure on me today. Now I've had this line, I cover this line in numerous things that I've written and also um, let me just think, does he want to move his knight? I might play here with the idea of trying to maybe get my knight into one of these squares and have rook takes f3, a typical sack. So yeah, I mean I, I, I think the major I'm going to just go here to stop bishop b5. I mean, I, I, I did a video about this in Killer French DVD. This is the, the, the major thing that I've done on this opening. Sorry, I'm trying to focus a bit more now. I was wondering if I should have just sacked my rook on f3 there and played queen f7. That would have been a very thematic idea. This is a very useful move, a6. It stops bishop b5. And my opponent wants to play bishop b5, bishop takes c6, and then control this square here, which my knight is controlling. So I'm trying to stop this idea of my opponents here. Um, and, well, rook takes f3, not quite working yet. g6 is normal. Now, he could actually take here. That kind of scares me quite a lot, actually. Have I just walked into that? He didn't go for it, thankfully. I was a bit worried about him taking there with knight g5. That was certainly something to concern me now i could just go knight takes can i don't see any problem with knight takes here queen takes queen bishop takes i'm just gonna i want to keep my dark square bishop so i'm gonna try to keep it okay so this looks like a pawn to me that he he maybe didn't notice i could i think he wanted to get rid of my dark square bishop there but generally this is a very key piece for me and i need to keep this but He's he's still he still has compensation with the open file and chances to come in. So I'm gonna fight for the open file, try to exchange pieces and win the ending now. Okay, so he's now decided to come forwards, but he's lost the tempo by doing that. And my simple plan when you material up is exchange pieces and hopefully win the ending. If he ever goes f five, I can take and go e five and I get very nice centre. So where does my king want to be? It looks a little bit risky placing on the same square as his rook. But I can't see any way of him taking advantage of that. Well, I say that and he's moved his knight here. Um, okay, I'm going to get rid of my... This is my bad bishop. Um, the light square bishop. And also if I can swap bishops, I gain the c2 square. So I'm very happy with that. Maybe if he takes, I would even throw a check in immediately and I will do I'll get my check in immediately I'm happy for an exchange of rooks am I this pawn could be loose in the ending but I'm still a pawn up so these things shouldn't shouldn't concern me too much if he doesn't exchange rooks my rook is going to be very powerful here um okay so so far he's defending now I I, I don't want to take this one that could be a major blunder um I'm going to move my king out of the way of any nastiness happening on this file i have bishop c5 but my king was open to checks on g5 and e5 when it was there and to the rook so i'm now moving it out the way and i'm threatening bishop takes to f4 last move he could go knight e5 check against that which i don't think was very good for me so here um okay well i'm gonna play this move but i've walked into bloody knight here haven't i well i got bishop c5 not so bad okay now Bishop takes f4, my main idea, but why not activate my knight first? My knight can even try to come into g3 and then to e2. If I get rid of dark square bishop, it's game over. 
So he's aiming for an exchange, but now this should be excellent because I've got e5 in and his position clearly, clearly just collapsing now. Um, and his time is collapsing. I'm going to whip off these pawns. I have two connected past pawns. So good stuff. So that's that's the game I needed there. Um, let's let's try birds opening. I haven't, haven't played this for a long time. And I'm just going to play like a reverse Dutch. And we all know my aim is to now get back over 2600. And it's good to have a challenge, eh? And, well, you, you probably... No, the Dutch is one of my main openings, and I'm just playing this like a reverse Dutch, where eventually I'm going to try to play the move e4. And i probably even going to keep the queens on now. So queen e2, oh, sh that was an awful move, because I've allowed him to play d4. Why do I do that? That's such an awful move. Uh, it tells you I'm not quite there, because you never let your opponent play d4 in these positions. For some reason, I thought he could not play that move. But if you ever let him do this move, then you, 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 your pawn structure goes worse because I don't have an e-pawn. And if you see my games in the past, it's very important to have an e-pawn to go e5. I might not be worse here, but it's not what you, not what you want to do in the, in the classical Dutch. You don't want to allow your opponent to push this pawn. So that was, that was very slack of me. Um, okay, but still, I'm, I'm certainly okay now. Get in there, son. <laughs> so my my rather rubbish play there actually actually worked out quite well. Okay, well I I'm gonna let's let's try the King's Indian defence. I've been playing this a bit recently, if I get a chance to play it. Now against a youngster, a talented youngster like Johan, I would imagine that my theory could be somewhat struggling. Now I don't this is the same ish variation. Now I remember a long time ago. Uh, a pupil of mine playing e5 in this position with some crazy idea of knight d4. Yang Fang, he actually got silver in the world, some world championships, but I can never get it to work. <laughs> and I've had this before where I can never get this bloody thing to work. What am I doing here? Um, do I take here? I don't know. Let's try this one. And now try some tactics with knight h5. I'm doing this because I want to give my queen the h4 square to check on. I want to give myself the f5 pawn break. And I want to give this knight potential to, to hop into the f4 square. So these are, these are the ideas behind, behind this move. And you can see I haven't moved my d6 pawn, which is normal. Because I'm trying to save a tempo to do some sound effects. Um, so a bit of a longer session today. I'm one game away from going 2600. Will I celebrate again? You can't really celebrate twice in a row, can you? Well, we'll see. Um, okay, right. So this move now, I'm, I'm thinking knight here, but then knight takes c6. Can I go mental? Well, I probably did a long time ago. Queen h4, check. Bishop f2 and take that damn thing. Take the damn thing. Maybe, may we, may we. Okay, let's just do some proper concise chats. Check, bishop there. Can I sack my queen? Is that, no, that's crap. Can I go knight f4? He takes there. I take on g2. He moves his king. I take there. It's nothing. Can I take on d4? Then go knight f4? Yes, that's probably my best option here. At least I get, at least I get a square for my knight. But my whole center is like, ugh, not so cool here. Not so cool. My center ain't, ain't happy. Ain't happy. But... Center ain't everything in life. It's just most things. Now castles, I'm hoping with queen g5. My, my, my one, my one, like, my one good thing here is my knight. So g3 would really piss me off here. <laughs> if he plays g3, I'll be, I'll be a little bit annoyed. He's gone that way. That is a, that's a move of a man. That's a move of a man. Okay, do I take that and be the greediest, greediest, greedy, greedy thing in the world? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't like grabbing pawns, especially when he does something horrible like that, which I, of course, of course, I was going to try to blag. I saw that. I didn't see it. No, this is not nice. Don't like my position. That was a very greedy pawn to take. Computer may say it's a good move, but I don't like it at all. Okay, right. Now he's trying to suffocate me. Not very nice of him, is it? 
You shouldn't try to suffocate your opponent. Where are your manners, man? Uh, oh, God, this is nearly getting to swear time. Nearly. Um, oh, flip a duck. Okay. Oh, God, I don't like this at all. And I'm down on time. Right, this is bad. This is very bad. What, how am I gonna? How am I gonna even save this position? Don't. Why am I being greedy? I mean, being gr being greedy is not my thing, and I've I've been greedy here, and it really ain't cool. It ain't cool to be greedy. I mean, I've grabbed a really hot pawn there. That was such a hot pawn to grab on g2. Open up my king. I mean, come on, Mr. Williams, don't be a greedy sod, and. Pawn up, I guess. Well, I have to. I have to. Uh, I have to take this one. And now, goodbye, you stupid bloody piece. Um. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you get when you get greedy in life. Okay. Well, I'll punt some moves. Pretty shabby play for me in this game. I have to admit. I'm just going to desperation ploy this to to. Okay. I'm a, I'm a rook down. So I'm. You know. Should be losing. Actually, Queen there was a much better idea. That was my original thought. It's funny how easy it is. I mean, that was that was sh that, again shabby. Queen there would have been back in the game. Right. Okay. I'm going to go Bishop B4 and try to try to keep this game alive because this is another 2600 game. Now he can take there, but then I take his queen. He's got mate. That'd be a lovely finish if he takes on G6. I resign. Ah, oh, Shiza, Shiza. Okay, we will play. Um, I think until I lose another game or until I get over 2600. So let's use a bit more focus. Now, the only reason I don't like playing the Trompovsky is because of this d5 move. I never I never really like these positions. And he's playing it particularly the way I don't like it. I mean, this is a very good defense or, or attack, should I say. And I, I don't think white has any advantage here. Okay, well, I, I'm actually not worried about him grabbing the pawn. I mean, this is one of the least things I'd be concerned about. He hasn't taken the pawn quite wisely at the moment. I'm in a bit of trouble here because if I go c3 he goes bishop f5 and my pieces are like not working. So I'm gonna offer this pawn again. So I can't I can't play the move I want to play. C3. All my pieces this is this has been a shockingly crap opening. Okay, let's at least double his pawns and try to try to finish my development bishop d3. Um, I can try that. Move like a5 is, is going to be thematic. I want to go bishop d3, just finish development. But this is not, not the kind of position I want. And this is a very good line that Black played against the Tromp. Um, the line he's gone for here. Okay, is there any tactical things here that I can complicate? Can I go here? Give up this piece. I want to get bishop check here. No, I can't, I can't really see this working at all. Um... Here he just takes this pawn. Um, okay, don't want to lose this game. This is going the wrong way. Um, time is shabby. Here it takes here. Do I have anything there? Take here. Is that really compensation? Well, I, I kind of prefer this to the other options. The only other option was bishop d3, which just looked looked awful. Actually, this is pretty terrible because knight c2. Okay, I mean, this way, I say I sacrificed the exchange, but I kind of lost the exchange. But at least this keeps the position more unbalanced, I think, than the other options. But of course, this this should just be this should just be a bit crap for me. Um, what am I even planning here? That knight's crap. Let's try to maneuver it. Okay, right. Yeah, don't like my position. Guess I don't like it. Okay. What is that as well? He's, he's now threatening queen takes here. Okay, quick. It's going to I'm going to go into speed mode now. I'm speedy as I can be, which is slug pace. I'm not going to lose without a fight, at least. Let's at least make things complicated. Can't go down without a fight in life. And he's going to try to come in, take that one. Well, 
No, because he can swap queens if I do that. Okay, I have to go here. I think I have to keep my rook in the game, but now his knight comes, of course. That's a good move to swapping off my one piece that was doing something. Uh, and now this one's weak. Still some slight chances here with a check and a knight check. My opponent stopped by covering that one. Any way to complicate this? I mean, when, when, when your position's bad, I don't see any way to complicate this position, unfortunately. His king will go to h8, unless he's got something even better than that. I would not be surprised if he's got something better than, you know, king h8, put his king safe first would be uh, an automatic way to play. Okay, well, going to do this one, but queen d6 keeps it, keeps, keeps his position fine. I mean, not good. Okay, now that is the only trick I had. Ooh, just call me the dirty man. <laughs> oh, God. That was so dirty. Oh, Johan. Johan, you can't fall for crap like that. That was my ah oh, that was my one dirty trick there. That was that was so dirty I really enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, we got a Dutch now and he must be angry now. He must be punching his computer, swearing at his computer. And three and a half all. Okay, so let's let's not Okay, let's keep playing. Keep playing, keep focusing. This next game key. I shouldn't have won that game. Can I even just take that pawn? I'm just going to take that pawn. I know pawn grabbing is not cool, but I don't. If you don't see a reason to take it, then take it. That's what I say. Okay. I mean, these endings are fine. I think you know. I've had this kind of stuff before. I'm just a bit worried about check pawn here takes, but I have knight f6, so I've had this. I've had this type of ending. A lot of times in my life and I actually I actually quite like it my pawn here may look a bit weak and it probably is a bit weak but you often get very active pieces in in return with my knight coming to d4 so he's he's stopping that one and that is uh, wise um, okay I think I want to go here I could have gone bishop f5 to force the exchange of bishops he's keeping that on so I'm gonna try to Instead, get my bishop to f3, I think. But first of all, let's just see where he moves his rook. And now here, stops bishop f3. Okay, maybe I am slightly worse here. I might have uh, overestimated things a little bit. But my bishop here stops this, but f3. f3 would be a good move from him now. Is he going to take my pawn here? Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Do I allow him to do that and rely on my bishops? I think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow him to take my pawn on e5, and hope that my two bishops will give me ample compensation. So he has, he's decided not to do that. He's decided just to keep, keep some pressure here, which was probably, probably a good, good, good move. Yeah, actually, he's, he's played well. He's played this very well so far. A good play. And um, not really giving me any chances to complicate the position. Now, I don't want his rook coming in here, do I? Rook here, rook here, bishop d8. No, I don't. I think the d file is more important um, to keep keep control of this. Now, I've got bishop f6, king f7, king e6. So he's maneuvering his knight here. Fine. And I'm going to stop any b4s, make some space over there. Control c5. So I'm just going to try to control some squares. Control the squares his knight can move into. So that's another square there controlling. And now get my king into e6. So let's put the king in the center of the board. And do a little bit of probing over on the queen side now. My knight, not a very good piece. So I need to improve where it comes. c4 is the immediate square I see. I'm trying to get that little baby in there. If I go there straight away, he, he, he moves this one here. Um... Now, if I go there, I weaken this square. Am I worried about this? No, because it comes a target. Let's let's do this. Let's put the knight here. If he goes b3, I can take and come back. So let's see how this works out. And if he moves again, my knight comes back into this square. Otherwise, he has to retreat as knight, which look, looks a bit looks a 
bit uncomfortable retreating as knight. My bishop now finds a square. e5 is weak, though, so I have to keep an eye on this one. But my piece is finding more and more activity here. Taking on d2, taking on b3 is, is my main idea. And somehow this seems quite good for me, actually. Somehow I, I, I think that this position should certainly be adequate for me. Now, a lot of endings look very good, actually. Now, he wants to take, maybe his rook comes in, he wants to take here. But I've always got king f7. So that is best way not to lose both of his pawns and give me double pawns. So again, I've got to control this one. And it's a good move that. I'm not sure if this is going to be hmm, very hard to win. If I come forward, he keeps checking me and then g7 becomes weak. Probably he can at least keep checking me anyway, but this is this is just as good here. And I don't see how I'm going to win this one, actually. This is a... Uh, oh shit, maybe even draw it now. What a fuck up move that was. A ridiculous move for me. Very stupid there. Not thinking at all. Very bad play. I should not be losing this game. Very tough ending now. Silly. Silly of me to do this. Completely crazy to play like this. Now he's threatening this stupid move. Oh, I'm angry with myself. This is this is not a not good. Now I've lost this pawn as well. Crazy, crazy endgame play by me. Really, really awful endgame play. Losing those pawns like that. Well, I have to try this one. And now, why, why, yeah, I mean, why doesn't he just move his king in? I mean, there's probably a number of ways. H6 looks terrifying for me. I'm going to put my pawn here because oh, he's got king here. Only move. And only move. Only moves. These are only moves I'm playing. Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, that was annoying. Okay, we'll try one more because I don't don't like ending like that. That was that was awful, really bad. And um, we'll go for when I lose the next one. You can see I'm getting more annoyed now. My calm, cool exterior has completely gone and I'm now angry. Okay, let's see if I can use that anger. Look, I'm just going forwards. I'm going to try to crush the bastard. The bastard! I'm sure he's a nice bastard, but he's still, a, he's still making me angry. Just go forwards. Forwards. Whether it's good or bad, I'm just going forwards. No monkeying about here. I'm going to get Harry going. That's one thing I haven't done so far. Harry. And we will play until I lose another game. So, key. Okay. I'm not worried about... Oh, come on, Harry. Do I do that or do I take here? Let's just take there first. And then ha look at Harry. Look at him ready. He's ready. He's ready for takeoff. He's ready. And he's off. Knight g5 is probably a better move, but... <coughs> you got it. You just got to. Sometimes you just got to move Harry. Sometimes it's just got to be done. Okay, right. In we go. In we go. And it's going to be brutal. I'm going to try to brutal. Oh yes. In we come with a nice big juicy one. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Now, knight here is very good. Knight here is very. I have too many good moves. Which should not be an issue. Okay, come on, Harry. Just do your do your do your stuff. Do your do your boogie, Harry. Okay. Now knight f6. I got knight f7 always. Uh, I mean, I I can always win the exchange here. Knight f7, knight e6. But I'm kind of I kind of want more than that in this position. I I want I want to checkmate him. But I probably should just be taking the exchange now. And I will do. I will cash in a little bit here thing is I, I don't I'll be honest I don't know if these positions are so clear if he takes on f7 because his three central pawns with knight coming in not so clear and I didn't even think this was possible what have I missed have I missed that knight here check here queen check he has knight takes so um I actually missed this one mouse don't do that okay oh, I mean I'm sure he 
I mean, he should probably, okay, take there. That's the only way I can play for a win, isn't it? But I probably shouldn't be playing for a win. Well, okay, let's give him a check. Let's see. Let's see if he's gonna. Let's see if he's gonna divulge first. I expect he will. I quite like Black's position actually. After taking him, I, I probably shouldn't have pushed this that as far as I did. If he goes here, I, I have to play for a win. I have to play this. Only, only option. I mean, uh, you know, only option to play for a win, should I say? Which I probably shouldn't be doing um, in this position. But okay. Such is life. And well, I've got knight uh, here as well, stopping knight c2. I've got knight here, king here, excuse me. I think castles is best because his, his knight was looking. Oh my word! Ah! Jesus, what, did I... what was that all about? That was terrible. I'm playing like a bloody idiot today. Okay. Now that is why my rating never stays like that for too long. What an absolute eject I'm playing like. Bloody awful chess from me. Absolutely awful. And, um, okay. So. Well, I'm playing out of spite here, but... Uh, that's not really going to get me very far. <coughs> awful. Awful, 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 Simon. Words evade me. And, okay, I can clearly resign this one. But I'll play on a little bit. And it's going to be another challenge to get my rating up. I have to play, next time I have to play when I'm on the ball a bit more. All right, well, that's that. Sometimes it goes well and sometimes it goes bad. Now, quickly... Whenever I have a bad session, I click away from the chat to make sure that I avoid all the abuse that I will invariably get. So, cheers for watching that. I hope it was less painful for you than it was for me. And, um, yeah, great fun. Goodbye, 2600.